Hello everyone, I hope you are well. In today's video, we are going to talk about something pretty cool in the world of computer systems, the Sega pattern. We will also see how the Sega pattern works. But before starting, did you watch my previous video in which I talked about the difference between API gateway and the load balancer. If you are new here, I am Hassan and I post tutorials on this channel. If you might be interested in watching those videos, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, comment now on this video. Let's start today's video without any further delay. So what exactly is the Sega pattern? Well, it's like a game plan for when you need to get a lot of things done, especially in big computer systems. Think about it like baking a cake. Instead of making the whole cake at once, you break it into steps, mixing the batter, baking, icing and decorating. Each of these steps in our cake making Sega needs to happen one after the other. Now let's dive into how the Sega pattern works. Imagine you're ordering something online like a fancy meal kit. First you need to check if the meal kit is available. That's the first step and it's like mixing our big cake batter. If that works out, you move on to the next step which is paying for your meal kit. This is just like popping your cake into the oven to bake. But what if during the payment something goes wrong? Maybe your card gets declined? That's where the Sega pattern comes in super handy. It does not leave you hanging. It has a plan for when things go south. If your payment doesn't work, the Sega pattern knows how to go back and cancel that meal kit reservation. It's like taking your cake out of the oven because something went wrong while baking. Now you might wonder how who is in charge of all this. Well, meet the orchestrator. This is like the master chef in our cake baking analogy. The orchestrator makes sure everything happens in the right order. It checks if the first step is complete before moving on to the next. And if anything goes wrong, it knows how to fix it, like a chef adjusting the recipe to save the cake. When all the steps in our saga are successful, the orchestrator gives a thumbs up and you have completed your task. So your meal kit is on its way and your cake is ready to be enjoyed. But if something goes wrong, like a missing ingredient in your meal kit or a fail system, the orchestrator uses its power to fix things. Your meal kit is not reserved or your cake is not baked and the system stays consistent. Let's talk about real life examples. Imagine booking a hotel room online. There is a saga for that too. First you reserve the room, that is step 1, just like putting your cake in the oven. Then you pay for it, which is step 2, similar to baking the cake. But if system fails, the saga pattern helps by undoing the room reservation, which we can call the compensating action. Just like taking the cake out of the oven if it's not baking well. Or think about ordering stuff online. When you place an order, it involves checking if products are available, which is step 1, charging your card, which is step 2, and then updating the order status, which can be a step 3. If the payment step fails, the saga pattern steps into reverse the previous steps and keeps your order system in sync. Let's talk about how can we code this saga pattern in Java. So this is just an example. In real life, the saga pattern code does not look like this. It has to be done correctly and it is not that easy. But for giving you an idea how the saga pattern works, we can see an example of placing order. We have a class which is called order and it has three functions which is called confirm, cancel and is confirm. The confirm order prints a statement order confirm and it makes the is confirm variable is equals to true. The other function called cancel which makes is confirm to false and print the statement order cancel. While another function is confirm returns the is confirmed boolean variable and its value. Now there is an interface called saga step and it has two functions which, which are called execute and it takes some arguments for order class and there is a function compensate which is responsible for fixing things when something goes wrong. Now let's dive into the place order first step. We have a class place order step which contains two functions execute and the other function called compensate. We can, you can see that every class has compensate function which is responsible for fixing the things in a correct manner. You can see right here compensating step 1 cancelling the order. That means something went wrong and therefore we have to compensate that thing while executing the another function. We can see that there is a step 2 which is called process payment and we have class process payment step which also contains the execute function and compensate function. It is printing the statement step 2 process payment and if something goes wrong we can call the compensate function compensating step 2 refunding payment. You can also see that it has also runtime exception which is called payment processing field. Let's move forward to the third step which is called send confirmation step which is printing the sending confirmation email and if something goes wrong we can print another st statement right here. Now let's see the main class Sega pattern example which contains the main function. Now if you have noticed that we are just creating some steps right here. Process payment, placing all, first of all the place order step, then process payment and then confirmation the step. We are calling these functions into the list. We are storing them into the list. We are storing these steps into the array list. You can see right here, step so that place order step, process payment step and then 
send confirmation step. We are now iterating through this list and if something goes out, it will just print the statement step field and then it will just run that compensate function for that specific step. And if the order is confirmed, then this function will return the boolean value and it will print the statement order processing completed successfully otherwise it will print order processing failed so this code just summarizes that how cycle pattern work in java and this is just an example and it shows that if something goes wrong the we can are calling the composite function to fix that things and reversing that step to fix other things which ensures that your system is in sync and there is no another problem with the system thanks for joining me and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like sub and subscribe for more easy to understand tech insights if you have any questions or want to learn about something else just drop a comment below until next time stay curious and keep learning